What's good, y'all? Shagam Makai. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and every subscriber helps. Over here on this channel, we make daily NBA content. So if you enjoy the NBA as much as I do, please subscribe. And today, we're going to be talking about the Washington Wizards and, you know, how I think their 0-4 start is a little, you know, cause for concern. You know what I'm saying? So the Washington Wizards in the offseason, they got Russell Westbrook. Uh, they re-signed Davis Bertans. They... You know, they just improved their team overall because they traded John Wall for Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is better than John Wall. Obviously, they won the trade. But they've started off 0-4, so that's really a cause for concern. And, you know, it's not like Russell Westbrook has, you know, taken a step back or Bradley Beal has taken a step back. Bradley Beal is averaging, like, 32 points, like, on good efficiency. I think about 44% efficiency. So, you know, it's not amazing, but that's solid efficiency. Westbrook is averaging, you know, a triple-double. He's averaging 19, 13, and 12. So, through these four games, like, when you look at the teams they played, they played Philly once, they played the Magic twice, and they played the Bulls, you know, earlier tonight. And, you know, earlier when I saw that, you know, because Chicago Bulls are my favorite team, I saw the Wizards on the schedule. I'm like, ah, oh, man, we're going to lose because the Bulls defense, you know, isn't that great this year. And then the whole time, I, I didn't get to watch the game tonight, honestly, but... When I look at the box score, when you look at the points that we hung on them, there were seven Bulls players that were in double figures tonight. Seven players in double figures, and the Washington Wizards allowed that. So the big issue that I have, you know, and the big concern I have with the Wizards is their defense. Because if you look at the, if you look at the way they're losing, look. They left Philadelphia hang 113 on them. Not left, but like, because, you know, Philly is Philly, but they, it was 113. And I remember late in that game, there are a couple defensive lapses that, you know, the Wizards need to, you know, shape up. And then the next game, they let the Orlando Magic hang 130 points on them. Now, granted, they scored 120, but they scored 130 points on them. Like, that's to say you cannot allow that to happen. And then they played the Magic again. And they let the, the Orlando Magic hang 120 points on them. And you just, you cannot let that happen. Like, that's just unacceptable. You can't let, you know... The Magic scored that many points. And then tonight, they let Chicago hang 115 on them. And they only scored 107 to their 115. So clearly, the, you know, the issue, they're not playing good defense. Like, that's just, I don't know how, else, how more simple to put it. But they all, you know, scoring the ball well. Dallas Bertans is lighting it up. Uh, Robin Lopez comes in and gives you what he gives you. Thomas Bryant, you know, gives you some points. Russell Westbrook is Westbrook. You know, he's going to give you his triple doubles. And in three of these four games, Westbrook has had a triple double. You would think that if you know one of your two super, one, if one of your two stars is giving you a triple double, you would win. But it's the defense, man. The defense is you know getting got. Thomas Bryant is getting worked. Robin Lopez isn't you know what they wanted him to be. Westbrook has never been some elite defender, but I think he's getting got. Bradley Beal hasn't been some elite defender. So when you look at this roster, it's just like there's a whole bunch of guys who aren't amazing on defense they don't have the one guy to you know shore up that defense but there's really no excuse to be losing to the magic or the chicago bulls as a bulls fan you know i'm happy that they you know that we won tonight but realistically the washington wizards if they, if they want to you know make a push for the playoffs there's no reason you need to be losing to teams like this because in a in a shortened season in seven in a 72 game season you cannot drop teams to the you cannot drop games to the teams you're supposed to beat. You can lose to Philadelphia. That's completely fine. And it was a close game. They didn't get blown out. You can lose to a team like that. But when it comes to teams like, you know, let's say the Magic or, or the Hawks or the Bulls or the Hornets, like teams that, you know, you should be better than, like teams you're clearly better than, you can't lose those games. Or you're either going to wind up with a low seed facing a great team in the playoffs or you're going to miss the playoffs completely. Now, do I think they miss the playoffs completely? No, of course not. But there, there definitely is cause for concern because if they can't show up this defense and if they can't, you know, just make sure that these teams don't hang 130 on them because to allow so many points, it kind of makes the scoring on, you know, your end insignificant, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're scoring on them and they know they can come right back and score on you, it's not really a fight because eventually your shots are going to stop falling because another team is going to play better defense than you. But if you're playing bad defense the whole way, their shots are always going to be falling. It's not going to work. It doesn't work like that. So, yeah, I just think that this is some cause for concern for the, for the Washington Wizards. Wizards fans, if you're a Wizards fan seeing this video, hey, man, y'all got to get it together over there. If Scotty Brooks somehow sees this video, 
We gotta get it together, man. Right, draw up some real plays, cause I hear that Scotty Brooks is a horrible coach, and you know he doesn't run offensive sets or something like that. But yeah, the defense needs to improve. If the defense is not improved, then we're gonna see a lot more games like this tonight, where you know these bottom of the East teams or bottom of the West teams are gonna be you know beating the Washington Wizards, and it's gonna look like the Houston Rockets win that trade by mile. But I don't think it'll get to that point. But the defense does need to improve for sure. But yeah, it was here to end this video. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.